And I have a Liz Winstead story from when I was an open micer mm. that I'd like to share with you. Go ahead. Because this is where it gets really interested. When I was an open micer, and I, I was not that good a comedian, I was fucking two or three times on stage, and right. Liz Winstead already had been on HBO, she'd, and she was hosting an open mic night. And I'm not trying to hold her to the fire for this, okay? But this is something that happened. It happened more than 20 years ago. She's on stage. She had her friend Janine DeTulio, who was a very funny comic from Boston. They're all palling around backstage, this whole girls' club. And um, they, were, they were having a great time. And she said, she got on stage and she, she said, I'm hosting open mic night. And when I'm here hosting, hosting open mic night, I've got rules. Oof. Here's the rules, okay? No jokes about this. No jokes about that. No jokes about tits. No, no sexism. She says no sexism. She says no gay jokes. She has a list she's reading. And she decides that she's going to interrupt the stand-up comedians while they're on stage and stop them from performing their jokes and interrupt them because she decides that a joke is racist. She decides that a joke is sexist. So there's a door next to the stage. So the comedians are on stage, and she's getting on stage and interrupting individual performance. Stop, stop, stop. That's sexist. So he, this guy... Brian, I forget his fucking name. He was a, a very funny guy, but he was particularly shy. And he was an open micer, a career open micer. He was a guy that had been doing... Are you checking your Twitter, bitch? Pay attention. Uh, yeah, sorry. Pay attention. He was a guy who would struggle to keep it together on stage every time. And he was a very gifted comic writer, right. but a very uncomfortable performer. He had a really hard time performing. So he goes on stage, and he has this joke where he says um, something about, um, I always make sure I open up the car door for my hooker. Right. And Liz Winstead interrupts, stop, 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 sexism. Right. And he says, and don't think he doesn't appreciate it, which is his punchline. Okay, Shit. so she's standing on stage right after he says that, and she stopped him. And he's so awkward, he's got his eyes closed ah, during his, his fucking thing. I mean, it's, it's just, it's so fucking annoying. Why not? It's driving me crazy. So, I get on stage, okay? And I'm in the middle of something, and she comes out and says, sexism, stop, stop. Hmm. And I said, Liz, don't you get enough fucking attention? I go, you go on stage every night, you have this HBO special, you're a national headliner, and yet you can't let a, an open micer have five minutes to try to say whatever the fuck they want to say. You have to come on and interrupt. What and so she says to me, you know, I know the people who own this club. Yeah. I'll just let you know right now. This is not, this is 100% real. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's it, really. I go, that's what you're telling me. You're a professional fucking comedian. And I have a, a very good point about you needing attention and interrupting sets. And you tell me that you know the people who book this club, insinuating that you can stop me from working here. I go, fucking really? I go, I'm done. And so I walked off the stage. I put the microphone down and I walked off the stage. And I'll never forget that. And so listening to that lady, just understand and, and judge that. Well, I mean, because that's a true thing that happened better, yeah. to a... Oh, of course it does. <laughs> but that's a true thing that happened to a open mic comic right. by a professional headliner comedian. Sure. And this I mean, is the point where sexism can bounce the other way. Well, and it, it becomes nonsense. It becomes you enforcing your ideology on other people. And you... It's not about being fair and right and running a just happy society where people are allowed, allowed creative differences. No. It's it's about you enforcing your own ego and bullshit on other people. Yeah, and I mean, it was one of the